So this is problem 5.6.25. We're asked to factor, and this is w times t cubed plus 8w. I don't think you can see that very well, so I'm going to write it a little bigger there. Okay, so the first thing um, that we need to do in any of these factoring problems is factor out a greatest common factor if there is one. And in this problem, there is a common factor of w, and so I'm going to factor that out. And then I'm left with t cubed plus 8. And then we're taking a look at <clears throat> uh, whether the inside factors or not. And um, since we're looking at this in its two terms, if it's going to factor, we're going to have to use a formula. And the formula that it fits is the sum of cubes formula. And that's because we can write both of these as cubes. I can write the 8 as 2 cubed and the t is already cubed. Okay, So in the formula, the a in the formula is equivalent to t and the b in the formula is equivalent to 2. And again, just as a reminder, that formula is <clears throat> um, a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay. Um, and so um, once we've identified the a and the b and we've written this in the form that, that the formula is written in, then we can just plug those a's and b's in. And so this right here is going to become equivalent to, let's bring along our w, which is our greatest common factor. Then we're going to have a plus b, so that's t plus 2 in this problem. And then we have a squared, so t squared minus a times b, so that's minus 2t, and then plus b squared, and that's a 2 squared there. And then on the next line, we just want to square the 2 and write that out as a 4. And, you know, m most of you can probably do that in your heads um, without having to write an additional line. But when these problems become more complicated, <clears throat> a lot of times it's helpful to actually just write it as a, you know, as a square and then simplify it on the next line. Um, but that would be our answer in this problem.